More right now on the coronavirus here in Connecticut as vaccines continue to roll out all across the state. Many of you are still sending us a lot of questions. We certainly appreciate that. Joining us this afternoon to hopefully provide some insight is Professor Andrew Heinrich from the Yale School of Public Health. Professor, thank you very much for joining us this afternoon. Thank you. Great to be here. Well, as I said, you know, we are getting a lot of questions still because I think people are just kind of overwhelmed by all this information every day. And a big one we keep getting is once you get the vaccine, do you know how long it actually will take for it to safely protect everybody? That's a great question. So after the first dose, you do get some protection a couple of weeks after receiving the first dose. But in the words of Dr. Fauci, you only get optimal protection about seven to 10 days after receiving the second dose. Now, speaking of Dr. Fauci, he actually got his shot today, and I think he did it, you know, publicly so people could see that. He took a moment to tell people this is the right thing to do. I know this is challenging, but what can health officials do to help gain the public's trust right now to get the vaccine? I think it's a great question, and it, it can be broken down into two parts, both the content of what is shared and how it is shared. For the content of what is shared, I know that the process of approving both vaccines was accelerated, but there was still substantial work done by scientists and researchers and trials done throughout the entire approval process. There was an advisory committee that looked through both vaccines. And I think that needs to be shared clearly um, with the public to know that there was extensive testing and research before this was rolled out. Secondly, um, after the approval, there's still continuing monitoring of uh, adverse effects um, and in fact, the NIH has just recently announced a study regarding the anaphylactic reactions that have been seen, the allergic reactions that have been seen in some patients um, to understand what compounds in the vaccine are causing uh, those reactions. So there has been so much work and there is so much ongoing work to ensure the safety and effectiveness of the vaccine. Um, and I think it's a matter of how it's shared, a simple infographics with simple, easy to follow information so that folks can understand for themselves uh, why these vaccines were approved as being safe and effective. Now, you just mentioned side effects. Do we know anything about any possible differences between the Pfizer vaccine from what a week ago and now this Moderna vaccine, which was just introduced? Uh, we don't know everything yet. Uh, at this stage, the Moderna vaccine is just being distributed. It's just received approval. There are a lot of similar compounds. So what I would advise is that folks ask their doctors. Um, the CDC has advised folks with, uh, who might have allergies to components of either vaccine to speak to their doctors before planning to get it vaccinated or to avoid getting vaccinated. And the CDC is also advising those administering the vaccine to have patients stick around for about 15 minutes after they receive the vaccine just to monitor for an allergic reaction. Okay, Professor Heinrich from Yale, thank you so much for joining us this afternoon. We appreciate it. Have a good holiday this week. Thank you so much. Happy holidays.